Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. It's Valerie. If you don't know, I am Valerie. I am Royalty's mom. And yeah, thanks for being here. As you can see from the title, we're about to get into five ways in 2020 that you can for sure make your child a brand rep on Instagram. All right, so let's just get into it. Um, the number one way to make your child a brand rep on Instagram or a Instagram influencer is to create an Instagram account, right? Your child definitely needs an Instagram account. Something, um, you want to make your name, your Instagram name, something catchy. Of course, it has to be something original because everybody has to have a different Instagram handle. But yeah, go ahead and create your child's Instagram account. For us, I created Royalty's Instagram account before she was even born. If you don't know, Royalty is our uh, rainbow baby. So um, she came along after several miscarriages and I was so overjoyed to have her here with us that I went ahead and created her an Instagram account before she was even born because I just knew that I wanted to document every single little thing that she did, okay? So yeah, first thing first, create that baby an Instagram account, get to it, okay? That's what you wanna do. And then you also wanna make sure that you have at least 1,000 organic followers. And when I say organic followers, what I mean is that you wanna have at least 1K followers who follow you and you do not follow them back okay so that is 1000 organic followers so that's going to be your first step so if you're pregnant right now go ahead and put up a sonogram pic of that baby and boom that account is already live and already start making plans on building that brand up <laughs> so the second thing moving right along is going to be take good photos and I know that this is so easy to say, like, take good photos. Can you explain that for me? Can I explain that for you? Yes. Yes, of course I can. Let me explain to you what good photos means. When these brands are looking for someone to represent them, they are offering you this discount because in return, they would like to receive photos that they can use for advertising, right? Okay, so that's the exchange there. So what you want to do is make sure that you are providing clear, clutter-free photos. You don't need an expensive camera. A lot of the brands will tell you, hey, you can be a brand rep for us. You don't need an expensive camera. We're okay with iPhone um, pictures. Just as long as they're clear, clutter-free, and they're showing our products in just a very good way. So if you want to know what a good photo is, you want to know... Okay, give me an example of a good photo. Okay, one example, take a look at my baby's Instagram page. Go ahead and look at Baby Royalty's Instagram page over at Royalty Reigns. Um, and then also, you want to go look at some other reputable brands, some other larger brands. Look at Target. Look at um, The Gap, for instance, and see how the kids gap, of course, and see how they take pictures for their advertising. Look at their advertising campaigns. You'll see that there are some beautiful children there, but you'll also notice that those pictures are selling something. So if you're not familiar with how to take photos for advertising, just take a look at several different brands and notice that their main focus of that, you can just look at a picture. Um, changing. <laughs> you can look at a picture and say, okay, it looks like they're selling me a purse. Okay, so let's see. Right now, if I was to um, take a photo for a brand, you know, I might, let's see, I'll get up close. Let's see. You know, like, for instance, let's say I'm taking a picture, you know, for eyeliner. You know, I want to take a headshot for eyeliner. I don't want to kind of just have my eyes open and smiling and then taking full body pictures because you're not going to really see the eyeliner. You really want to take a picture of the products. Your child doesn't necessarily have to be a full body photo and your child doesn't necessarily have to be in the photo is what I'm saying. So, you know, take a good photo. So moving right along to the third 
step to guarantee that your child will be a brand rep on Instagram is post often. And what I mean by post often is you want to post at least once a day and you want to post at least three to five stories a day. You definitely want to stay relevant. And staying relevant means that you post often. If you cannot post once a day, you want to at least post, I will say minimum, three, two to three times a week. Definitely is the minimum. But definitely post often because when you post often, um, I put in a clip here or here somewhere of baby royalties insights on her instagram okay y'all seriously this is like <laughs> okay okay y'all seriously this is like take three let's let's just get it over with um so uh, i ran out of storage i got that situation all taken care of so I left off on the third tip on how to make sure that your child is an Instagram brand rep in 2020. And that was post often. And what I mean by post often is you want to post at least once a day. Once a day, you want to put up a photo minimum, you know, like minimum once a day. Put up a photo. You can put up a few photos a day. And you also want to put up a few stories a day. And the reason why you want to do that is because you want to make sure that your Instagram insights and insights are what is given to you if you've made your page a business page. So you definitely want to make your page a business page. Um, and just Google that, how to make your page a business page, because that's just, we're not about to get into that right now. So, and I'll post um, baby royalties insights probably on the left or the right. I'm still getting new to, used to this. I'm we knew here. So uh, I'll post her insights up so that you can see that she's got about 30,000 impressions. Impressions means that she's people who have liked, shared, um, commented, reposted her images on Instagram or mentioned her on Instagram per week. She gets about 30,000 per week. And um, she's got about 7,000 or 75,000 people who have actually come and viewed her profile, okay? And a lot of that she's gotten from our fourth step, which we're going to get into the fourth step. And that is from buying features, okay? Yeah. You want to make sure that you buy features so that your child is seen. Your child needs to be seen everywhere on Instagram, like... Every time somebody goes on their explore page, they need to see a picture of that pretty baby on the explore page in that fly outfit that you got from that brand, okay? That's just how it needs to be. And what feature pages are, if you're not sure, I guess your baby royalty is going to explain it. Tell them what a feature page is, ma'am. Exactly. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what it is. You are so smart. You are so ow. Don't mess up my makeup. Ow. So feature pages are other Instagram pages that have a bigger following than you. You know, anywhere from 50K to 100K on up who take pictures from your page and repost them on their page for their um, Instagram audience to view, like, comment, and inadvertently come check out your profile because they really like that picture or they really want to know where you got that outfit from, okay? So buy features. Features range anywhere from $1 to, I think I've paid up to $30 for a feature. And you definitely want to, if you want to know, and there's also free feature pages. So, it's feature pages for everybody's budget, okay? No excuse. Don't start. If you want to know the feature pages, where to find them, how much they cost, where the free ones are at, don't, you know, go ahead and look at Royalty Reigns Instagram page. Again, I'll put the link in the description box. Click on that link. Go ahead, look at her tag photos because I require people who repost her photos to tag her. So, that way I can keep track of it also, but... As a courtesy, tag me, okay? Tag me in my baby's picture. But, yeah, you can see those feature pages and tag them in your pages, in your in your pictures, and they may like the picture and repost it for free. You never know. 
So that is the fourth tip and moving right along to the fifth and final tip to ensure that in 2020 your baby is a brand rep on Instagram is enter the rep searches, right? You definitely need to be in the rep search in order to be found and be discovered and chosen to be an Instagram brand rep, okay? And it's not rocket science. These brands are the same as any other brands. They get new inventory. They get new inventory for spring, summer, and fall, okay? So they're going to be looking for reps around that time. The easiest way to find them, let me just get her situated, okay? Go play. Shoot. Go play. Go play. The easiest way to find them is to use the hashtag brand rep search. And you'll see so many brands. You'll find so many cool clothes that you just, like, if you don't want basic, Instagram is the place to be to find your baby the cutest little clothes, okay? You will find the cutest little things, things that you never even thought you needed. You need them. They're on Instagram, and you can be a brand rep for them and get a discount on it and take beautiful pictures. Like, that, that's all you want to do anyway, right? You got a new baby. You need to take pictures, okay? So definitely into the rep searches. I prefer to enter a search. I hate when brands leave like comments under my pictures uh, of baby under baby royalties pictures like oh she's the beautifulest child i've ever seen please be a rep for me and i'm just like could you not just stop it i mean i know she's cute and everything i know she cute i know she's cute but just get out of here with that like stop it you know y'all are just wanting to get my monies and y'all selling the same thing that they selling over here and i just know okay and i have that attitude because i've been burned a few times with brand wrapping so you know what that's going to be another video if y'all want to know tips on how to choose a brand to rep okay so that you don't excuse excuse me excuse me so that you don't end up with the brand that you probably order something in their winter um, term that you rep for them and don't not receive it until the summer or some something crazy like that let me know I've, I've figured out a few things <laughs> from my experiences and I'll make a video but that is the fifth and final tip that I have on how to ensure that your baby will be a brand rep in 2020 let's get it if you really found this video helpful, give me a huge thumbs up. Please thumbs up the video. Comment uh, anything, any other questions that you may have. Definitely leave a comment. Let me know. And um, you better be subscribed, friend. Subscribe. What you waiting on? Let's be friends. Hey, friend. <laughs> so, yeah, get subscribed to the channel. Um, it's been fun it's been real i'm about to put her down for a nap because because y'all see what she doing it's nap time and thanks for kicking it with us say bye baby royalty pull say bye bye say ah, ah, ah. i mean don't say bye don't say nothing y'all <laughs> i'll see y'all next time y'all bye